All right, y'all. Welcome back to another video. And this morning we're gonna be fishing for steelhead and salmon again. We went out last night and we caught a couple, but didn't really get any video because we had some camera issues. So hopefully we get out there this morning and we'll actually get some good footage for you guys. See you on the water. St. Joe's River in South Bend, Indiana. And we're about to get fishing for steelhead, but first I gotta suit up because the water's really cold. y'all so we're out here on the river and before I get gone I'm gonna show you what my setup is so starting the bottom with a pink yarn egg moving up to an orange bead egg that I tie up a couple inches it'll take eight inches and then I got some split shot and then up to a uh, thing I'm a bobber indicator and that's the rig that I've been using and that's the rig that we caught fish on last night so hopefully it'll work again today golly I have a fish on. Check back out. Pull them if we can. Man, he just jumped. in that low back fin or something. He probably just swam right through the line. Come on. Stop. Stop. I'm gonna have to chase him. Yeah, I'm trying to put as much pressure on as I can without... They're just so big and current, they're like a parachute. There's some slack over here, so hopefully you'll, we'll be able to get to him. Hopefully he's like right here though. He's gonna stick his head in. Yeah, you got him on. Get him on the hooks real quick. Yep. 
Yep, got them on a fin. Yep. Off he goes. Yep. Thanks for the help. No, no problem. Well, that was one fish landed. It was foul hooked, so it doesn't count. So we got a king, but it doesn't really, doesn't really count towards my, my king that I want to catch. We got to eat it. But um, they're sitting out here on this flat, so hopefully we'll get another one here in a second. Um, hopefully this time in its mouth and we can fight this one in for real. Unfortunately, after that fish, I didn't catch any more. They kind of moved out of the sunlight and into the shadows on the far side and were unreachable. But luckily, this guy with his spay rod was willing to let me learn how to spay cast, which was pretty cool. This is why I love the fly fishing community. Everyone's always really nice and willing to help someone out just to learn and become a better fly fisherman. We're all in it as a team. I can't even tell you how many times I've had conversations with guys on the river and they were willing to even give me flies when they were catching more than me and just show me what exactly they were doing in order to catch all the fish they were catching. And now even though I didn't catch any more fish, it was still a beautiful day on the water, much better than the night before, which I'll now share the clips with you from. to a fish here and it's just taking us downstream so hopefully we gotta be able to turn this thing fishing with eight weight rods and he's probably got 12 to 15 pound fish you could see it downstream just there but we're just trying to walk it tire this thing out and hopefully be able to pull it in but we're not sure how far we're gonna have to chase this thing i'm gonna try to be his neck guy for this but we'll see this is our best hook yet we've probably hooked up like four or five times now so this is uh by far our most stuck fish so we're just gonna keep following them peter's gonna keep fighting and hopefully get back to you in a second here with a fish being netted pete eventually yeah. slowed the fish down enough for me to get out in front of it and net it and we took some quick photos before releasing it right back out into the river live. yep there he goes Strong swimmer. Oh, fish. <laughs> Dude, he is huge. <laughs> that was a big one. Cool. Ben's hiking up like a golf caddy. Yeah, we caught one. Ew. You got him? It was pretty dead, so we let him. He's not an eater for sure. He was like a little bit zombied out. We got yeah. some pictures to show at least, so. Might as well go right back up. I saw you walking down, I was like, dang. Well, cause you made the noise. Like, yeah. Oh. We then made our way back upstream and pretty soon after I hooked up to an even bigger fish. Fish on. Don't know if he's in a space though. Looks like it. Looks like a big old female. Jesus Christ. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on over, you heifer. You fat cow. Jesus Christ. I gotta put pressure or else she's never gonna tire out because she's big. Oh my God, oh my God, Jesus Christ. I think she figured out she's hooked. Dude, I know, I gotta move. I'm into my backing. Dude, I don't know if I've ever been into my backing on a fit. <laughs> Holy shit, oh my God. She's 
got me into my back. Jesus. Yeah, I'm trying. Jesus, she's going back out. Just when I thought I'd made up line. I think this is not eight weight fishing. Yeah, this is bigger than eight weight. Yeah. I mean, I'm like fully trying to horse and she's just not. She's yeah. Oh, here she comes back. She's relative. She's pretty much right there on you. Oh, she broke off. In exchange for the expletives that follow, I'll explain what happened. So I don't know if you heard that loud pop right before she popped off. That was the sound of her running and then busting my knuckle with the reel. And when my reel hit it, it applied too much pressure to the line and it broke the fish off. We again hiked back upstream, but this time with nothing to show for it. But the despair was short-lived because we soon doubled up with a steelhead and a salmon. And we're gonna need help! <laughs> we're doubled up! And I think I got a steelhead and I think he's got a salmon. Holy... Mine just took off. Mine's way smaller though, which is good, but... We're doubled up, that's insane. Dude, mine was just gone, gone when I set the hook. <laughs> oh God. Oh God. Oh my gosh. Mine's jumping. Ben, I think I'm definitely gonna need you to net mine. I'm definitely gonna need you to net mine. But it's way- Yes, that is the GoPro dying. But at least Ben was quick on the draw with his phone camera. Alright, well, that's the end of this video. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching The Waterlogged Woodsman, and we'll see you in the next adventure.